Metro, Metro opens on the 15th of May in 1935. And we will go down this first fragment of the Moscow Metro where we'll see the oldest stations. It's from uh, Sokolniki to uh, Park Kulturi. We will see it only fragmentarily because Metro will be the main means of transport for us during our tour each day. And I will give uh, some introduction to each station as we go every day. So let's go inside. so grandiose in terms of uh, because well it is only for researchers, librarians, students who visit the library. They don't, they don't. Church of Christ the Savior and no palace of Soviets but they uh, decided in terms of architecture the architects were Dushkin remember this name because uh, when the, the most beautiful stations uh, were constructed by these men Alexei Dushkin uh, well he decided to 
draw his inspirations not from the palaces, but from the ancient temples. So you can see the columns which resemble the temple of Amon in Karnak, or the proportions which resemble the Parthenon, and so on. And there are no heavy bronze chandeliers or decorations because they decided to use light as the main uh, theme in decorating this station. of columns so the architects were also inspired by the ancient Greek architecture and they tried to recreate it in their own way in the socialist kind of art, art deco version. So are, you can see lots of marble everywhere and ceramic tiles because well uh, the station was renovated several times and the budgets were smaller and smaller. Uh, in, many st in many stations, the marbles, the stones from the Christ Savior Cathedral were, were mainly in Tiatran Station, yeah. where, where we will go in a few minutes. But yeah, they destroyed the church and they took the marble and recycled it in a way. Uh, so uh, here is some bit of sad and tragic history. As you know, in St. Petersburg, the there's been an attack, terrorist attack in the metro, mm -hmm. and the Moscow metro survived several terrorist attacks during the last decade. One of them happened here, mm -hmm. and on the Banka station. So, it is the most efficient uh, metro in terms of technical ability to carry a lot of people, but it's not a safe place where no place is safe in our world. This station is named 
named Mayakovsky after the famous poet Vladimir Mayakovsky. And uh, the architect of this station, Alexei Dushkin, he wanted to recreate the unique poetic verses of Mayakovsky in the construction of this station. So that's why he used uh, the materials which are which were not used very often in the Moscow metro, for example, stainless steel. But the true germs of this station are these unique mosaics. There are 34 mosaics. socialist realism doctrine employed by the government but he stayed almost the same he preserved his style and is still very very attractive they represent uh, 24 hours of soviet sky what happens in the sky of the soviet country in 24 hours from uh, sunrise to like the middle of the night This is not, not, uh, 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 this is not advertising, all these. This is advertising to advertise. This is oh, okay. placeholders. Look at that. The mosaic above us, it's not the original. It was built in, uh, it was made in 2005 when this exit area was built. And it sort of captures the essence of the Danegas mosaic.